I'm Martine LaDuke. Hi, I'm Ginger Rem. And we're here at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve today to show you life science at a social distance. Today we're going to talk about the life cycle of the lubber grasshopper. The name comes from the word lobre, which means lazy or clumsy. Have you ever seen these big grasshoppers in your yard walking over the grass? They don't know how to fly. They do have wings though to help them make some noise. The lubber grasshopper goes through incomplete metamorphosis. If you remember, that only has three stages. The egg, then the nymph, and then the adult grasshopper. These are the ones we see in the summer. They're about five or six centimeters long. They will lay 25 to 30 eggs underground in summer, and they stay underground throughout the winter. When the eggs hatch, after the temperatures start to warm up, the nymph will emerge from the eggs. Now let's take a look at some of the lubber grasshopper nymphs that are starting to emerge now that the weather is warming up. These guys have emerged from their tiny little eggs that are just about a centimeter big. And they will molt or shed their skin five times before they become that big yellow lubber grasshopper in the summertime. If you look at some of these, some of them are really tiny and have probably emerged and they're only in their first or second instar or first or second time that they molt. And some of them are bigger and you can see that that might be the third instar or even the fourth. Many people consider the lubber grasshopper a pest because you can see how it's damaging the leaf and it will eat a lot of other plants in your parents' yard. They won't become the adult lubber grasshopper until this summer and they will eat their way all the way through until that time. Not many things eat the lubber grasshopper because they are toxic. And there is one bird called a loggerhead shrike and it will catch the adult lubber grasshopper and impale it on a thorn or maybe on the barbed wire of a fence and he'll leave it there for a day or maybe two until the toxins have evaporated and then he's able to eat the lubber grasshopper. Not many other things can eat the lubber grasshopper, although there are some parasitic wasps that will lay eggs on the nymphs. And then the young wasp has something to eat when it emerges. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed our segment on incomplete metamorphosis. The lubber grasshopper goes through just three stages, the egg, the nymph, and then the adult yellow lubber grasshopper that we see in the summertime. Until next time, this is Martine from Boyd Hill Nature Preserve.